Hey everyone, this is Isaac. This is in the cards. It's in the cards, not in the cards. This is what we're doing. This is a challenge. Last episode, we did some good things. This was a good time. Have fun with it. Boom, we're gonna drop all the bombs here right off the bat and get a tinted rock as well right off the bat. So, uh, on the last episode, I advise going to watch that. We did some good things. It was a good time. And I hope everyone's excited about it. But we're just going to keep on going. I need to do some more challenge runs, get all these done. That way we keep unlocking extra things. Because who does not like extra things? So, if you guys have anything specific you'd like to see me do, keep in mind, backlogs need to be, you know, accounted for. But I'll, I'll try to get to everything as soon as possible. And not... Wow, could I play a little w worse today? I will try my best. I didn't die in the first room. I can, I can play worse. Trust me. I can, I can do worse. Uh, but yeah, so I will uh, <clears throat> do my absolute best to get those out as fast as possible um, and in a timely manner as well. Don't push it too far because who, what would what would a YouTuber be without delay and never getting anything out? Punctual and, and professional is probably the right words for that, but you know. Don't don't question don't question things. I never claimed I was a very professional man. What I do have is a certain set of skills. I'll just do that. Keep this card on us. So I meant to get more of these done, but it's been it's been a busy week. So tonight is the night where we're gonna do a hundred recordings. Even though you guys will still see them one day at a time. A hundred! Not literally, I don't even think I could fit a hundred in. Well, if I played absolutely garbage, I might be able to fit a hundred in. What do we got? Larry Jr.? This one should give me a, give me a spirit heart. Which is, yeah, nothing to sneeze at. Spirit hearts help keep you alive. Especially when you're playing this poorly. So let's keep our hearts open. Filled with joy. Three keys is pretty good for the first floor. I uh, was not expecting three keys on this floor. No item rooms to go visit, though, which is a little unfortunate. Should probably go back and check out that secret room. It's not a secret room. That is a curse room. Should absolutely go check out that curse room. Get good things from it. I do need to uh, keep my eyes open for... Tears and shot speed up. Not the worst thing in the world. Keep my eyes peeled for... Oh, his eyes are droopy and sad. Makes me feel bad. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, keep my eyes peeled for... Something. I don't even remember what I'm saying now. Whoopsie! Oh, more tarot cards. Tower. High Priestess. Fortune. Judgment. Fortune. I believe he should get, uh, if he pays out in here, it's a deal with the devil item. Really hope he pays out in here. I will drop the fortune card. There we go. Blue map. Gives us some secrets. We can learn more things. Get some better goodies. Second secret room and secret room will do us wonders. Double bombs right here is always good. I don't think I'll blow those guys up. I'm not in that mean a mood today. I should be able to get the heart and the bomb. Then we also have the spirit heart in the other boss room. You get two cents, buddy. Meet strangers without prejudice. And you die. So that was nice, and say it was that nice. <laughs> Probably should have laid down my wheel of fortune. That's okay. This is the first run of a day where you're still wonky about what you should do. Most people don't get like that. I'm just like that, because... Yeah! Anyway, words and stuff. Just gotta keep on playing Isaac, because Isaac is <gasps> love. Isaac is life. And... Kill you. So, what are some of the more exciting things you guys have been noticing in Isaac? Let me know. Tell me things. 
I love hearing other people's stories in Isaac. It, uh... Ow. It's always good to hear. I know some people... Like, for a while, I didn't do challenges too much. I don't really know why. Uh, we'll hold off on that. See if we can get more money. Especially since there's a secret room right here. And it paid out with 12 cent... Potentially 12 cents, because we're gonna... Use the two of spades right now. Or should I just, you know, let's just hold on to it and use it if we're going to buy something. Elsewise, why pop it immediately when all it's doing is making everything better? Like, the longer I wait to use it, <clears throat> the higher potential use it has. Unless you buy something with it and then you're just foolish. Because right there, that was two cents we could have missed. This is a Joker card. Could get a deal with the devil. That'd be fantastic. You just have to remember not to buy anything first. Elsewise, I'm throwing away good money. This is not actually my specialty. So, don't honestly know how this uh, charge thing works. Gonna buy it anyway. It just charges with blood. So I don't know if it means... <clears throat> like, if we take damage, there's a chance of spilling blood. Or what? Let's just pop this immediately. Get the Hanged Man, not a bad card. The card we left behind was the ow, Wheel of Fortune, which is not really anything special. So we'll just leave it left behind. <coughs> Excuse me. Would not be a bad idea to go back, grab it, and blow it up, but with limited bombs, I'm not super worried about that. Actually, every time I'm dropping a bomb, potentially I should just be popping up beside it, because then we can get more loots out of it. So I'll go back, grab it, because we haven't gone to the second secret room yet, and I would love to see what is inside that second secret room. Also, Joker card! So you get to deal with the devil. Hmm. Dark Bomb would be great. Brimstone. Mom's Knife! Mom's Knife would be a good pickup. Uh, now that you've gone this far into the episode, let's just throw out that little spoiler warning tag thingy. Evil range and shot speeds. My shot speed's pretty pretty up there. You know what? We're going to try and become Guppy, too. Because I love Guppy. He's adorable. The monster murder machine. And we are going to go back, pick it up. I believe this is it right here. That's the High Priestess card. Okay, we'll pick it up right here. Place it right beside a saw. Blow it up. May have been a better idea to play it first. Not too sure if that is the decision that would actually help us out more. But look, we have plenty of money now. Take our High Priestess card. And... I don't think there's really much point in exploring here. Unless this gets us a... Tarot card? Is that really what I'd be looking for? Sun card. Yeah. Alright, well, Sun Card's really good. Potentially if we get more health, or just to show us the floor. Sun Card's not a bad card. One of my favorites. I think I might like the Hierophant more. Or the Hero Font. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm no Scientologist. I can't, I can't think of these things, man. So... Uh, if anyone knows, correct me, or, I guess, tell me. Is it the faster your tier, like, is range based on how long your tier can stay in the air, or an actual distance? Like, if I have my shot speed knock super low, can, would my tiers not go as far? So it'd be, like, your tier can, the range would basically be starting range is three seconds in the air, and then, so if it was faster, it would technically get more distance? Or is that just me projecting? I don't know. I know it's, you know, range is how far your tier goes, but how far is too, is too far? How far is far enough? I guess I could do a really simple, <clears throat> excuse me, analysis on that and just see how far my tiers are going. Thank you for popping that back towards me. That would require mm, pff, time, effort. 
double bombs are awesome. I'm also going to take the Spirit Heart, just for a little bit of added security. When in doubt, secure it out. I know it's there. I just don't really know where I'm supposed to place the bombs. So I hate these rooms. Oh, Alright, well we got A hit in. There we go. Stomp him into the dust. Blow this up. Running out of bombs here. We'll come back for you. I gotta get the full six charges, or I guess technically five charges because of the battery. But I'd rather get more charges out of it, obviously, if it's gonna come down to leaving the floor or not having it. Even one extra charge is better than none, but... You know what I'm saying? You just, uh, aim for the heavens. What is it? Shoot for the moon, because even if you fail, you'll wind up in among the stars. I think that was someone corrected me on that, because I always say it, shoot for the heavens. Um, but technically the stars would be in the heavens. If you fell short of going into the stars or the sky you would also fall short of your initial goal as well. So, food for thought. Works out wonderfully. Pick this up, pop it again. Hanged man's not really worth it. Don't get me- oh, I'm dumb, I should have used it there. Don't get me wrong, Hanged man's not a bad card. Just in my current case of um, would you rather have the Sun card or the Hanged Man? I would much rather have the Sun card. Or the Joker, I guess, technically, because we have both both card slots. So, boss time! The Husk. Husk is no... We should have brought the Empress card in with us. No point just having it sit on the floor wasted, but not too much reason to backtrack for it. Since this fight, this fight should basically be automatic. Just keep a little bit of distance. And you'll have no problems. So we're coming up... <clears throat> if you're watching this... Um, keeping up with current dates and every... Oh! <laughs> oh! Another guppy item. Um, if you're watching this, keeping up with current... Like, time frames. It's almost Thanksgiving! You guys excited about Thanksgiving? You guys gonna have good meals on Thanksgiving. I don't have a bomb to blow that open. I uh, think I'm going to be eating with my family for Thanksgiving. I'm also working Black Friday. Oh, the joys of Black Friday. But yeah, so it's going to be kind of uneventful staying at home, eating mostly with just my immediate family. Not too many people coming over. That was totally worth our last key. And yeah, blow up! Awesome, there's that golden key we needed uh, before we opened everything. But yeah, Thanksgiving. It's gonna be good. I hope. Not, uh... I don't know. What, what are your eating habits on Thanksgiving? I basically eat turkey or chicken, depending. Um, or both, also depending. And then do nothing else. Oh, I eat, like, corn. And then nothing else. It's not a big, uh, not a big, I guess, kind of like home-cooked meal kind of guy. I like more simplicity or pizza. Alright, well, the game's trying to poke fun at the fact that I've given up health and threw down a temperance machine. <laughs> Alright, well, that's comical. But that's okay. We've given up all our bombs. Most of our health. Our love life. We're just fading away one step at a time. Death card. I thought about using it on him, but I'd rather clear out an enemy of harder... a uh, room full of harder enemies, rather than just... Hold on to it and keep it safe inside us. 
So Gluttony, nothing to worry about. Hopefully he gives us the HP upgrade. If he does, I will probably then immediately teleport out of here. He did not. Um, and use the uh, Joker card. I gotta do it. I was about to say, for the chance of getting a free guppy item, even if it's fighting two bosses, this is technically not free, but... Alright, well, I've, I've kind of lost hope for this now. Because, you know, rel relative events. What do we have? Hierophant. Uh, that has already made this room worth it. And what is this one? Two clubs. Now we have two bombs, so... We're gaining a sp uh, two spirit hearts, which we've actually foolishly taken one of already. And the magical glory of not getting a guppy piece. But at least we didn't go to the deal with the devil and see that there was no guppy piece. So there's still hope. I still keep hope in my heart that there is guppy in my future. And Chubb, we haven't really gotten much in the way of damage, which is really unfortunate. Because I always like to have more damage. Mostly we've gotten shot speed up and a little bit of tears up. And this is uh, Pete. It is indeed Pete. Not my favorite. Uh, not my favorite boss to fight. A little irritating in a lot of a lot of times. But could be worse. Could be the bloat. I can stand directly in his line and not have to worry about it. So it could always be worse. And that's not a bad way to look at life. Said, no matter how bad it is, it could always get worse. Unless all of existence comes to an end and you're the last being alive. Although some people would like the silence of it. So I guess that, you know, all of existence could come to an end. That would be the worst possibility. You get out of here. Or that Isaac, you know... You live in an alternate universe where the Binding of Isaac doesn't exist. It, wars would ensue, man. Hundreds of millions of wars. Trillions, in fact. The body count would be in the quadrillions. Alright, we can get anything out of that. Although, technically, we at least got another charge. So the Sun card has become more or less kind of useless. Because, worst, I mean, best case scenario, it will, I'll just gonna pop it, it will heal us half a red heart. Um, which is not known for being, ha <laughs> ha nope. Uh, not be, not known for being the greatest outcome we could possibly have. Although, theoretically speaking, I probably should have waited a little bit longer before popping it immediately. Ow. See, I just, uh, I was trying to play catch. There's an old friend of mine, sometimes you just want to play catch with your old friends. I've befriended bats, what's wrong with that? Don't judge me. So, how do you guys feel? You know, this is where I'm mistaken a million years. How do you guys feel about... Work it works calling in from private cell phones. Um, I've worked several jobs where they'll call from private cell phones because they know you're more apt to pick up a private cell phone because you look at it and it's like, oh, maybe someone I know um, has a new cell phone or something like that. I personally cannot stand it. You know, uh, you're it, you're being dishonest. Alright, the moment of truth. This is this is the moment of truth. We're just gonna pop and fly away. And no guppy peace! Hallelujah! That's actually making me kinda sad. I took a lot of damage, no guppy peace. Not even like a triple necro or a double necro heart room. And Q bones. I think I pushed myself too far. Definitely not taking that. And this... Could this be the end? 
Could this be the end for Isaac? It's stupid cube on there, man. Oh, hey, uh, Infamy. It's actually a very solid uh, asset. Ooh, Chariot. That's another asset. Ooh, Gertie. F off. Oh, this is the Gertie that only summons enemies, isn't it? It's actually not too much to worry about, I believe. We are one-shotting these guys, or the flies. So. Positives! It could have been worse. The greatest positive there is out there. So it'll be a long fight, but not a fight we're really m very worried about. The true problem comes on the next floor, where we've lost every chance. We've, we've gone too hard at becoming Guppy, and failed. There's still hope for uh, the uh, curse rooms. But sadly, there's not a lot of hope left within our hearts. And I also wouldn't really want to take the risk of using um, the collar. HP upgrade. Good. Damage up. So our shot speed is really, really high. Um... I guess the second secret room is our last hope. Could potentially contain a red chest. It's actually not true. Th those, uh... What would they be called? Um, mushrooms, as well, can be our last hope. Because those could contain magic mush. Magic mush is something I'm a big fan of. So. Also, are not guaranteed to contain anything. Hey, look at that necro heart. Big news. Big news. If I really wanted to be careful, I could use the blood bank and abuse it. Oh, shoot this room. Dang it. But I also don't want to spend too long on this floor. But I do want another card on this floor. Alright, well, we're going to the blood bank now. I talked myself into it. Thank you. You guys helped me out. Helping me out, making my decisions good. And I've had a couple short episodes, either dying too fast or beating it too fast. So, why not, you know, give this one a little bit more length? These guys, like, kind of don't have eyes. Alright, well, we're mixing up this run. May not be Guppy. But it should be a charged item. Oh, hello! I think that's the first time I've ever gotten Skatol. Smart machine. And that's a smart machine. Justice card is good. Getting extra keys back is good. Having some extra money is good. Oh, wow, a dime. <laughs> Very good. I know this kind of defeats the purpose of this run, but uh, the extra big damage from Tammy's head and it being chargeable is something I find very entrancing. So. And also, Skatol makes me look like I have swirly hair. Swirly, poopy hair. Makes me feel right at home. With my regular haircut. Ha <laughs> ha! My hair doesn't look anything like that. It looks fabulous. Yeah, it is charging. So, very happy about that. And... I really want to be guppy. I want to be guppy a little too hard. What do we got? Two spades! Two diamonds. Stars card. Magician. Magician could actually be helpful. We'll take the moon to teleport us out of here. It's a bomb room. So I'm glad to get the extra bombs. And that is how you don't use Tammy's head. 
But the, the charging on Tammy's head is why I'm really keeping it. Is because it can do a good amount of damage. Bugger. I was about to say, we're not slow. Per Ow, triple pennies. Can we go with for a fourth? No, but triple pennies. Oh, there's only one left. Cool. I hate double golden chests. Like, give me a double golden chest and give me an item out of it. Don't jerk my feelings around. That is not nice. That spirit heart in this corner means a lot to me. It was passed down from my family for generations, and then it was stolen by these guys. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, if we could actually get the other one, um, the other battery, which gives us the charging... The double charge is this one? Whoa. Alright. Well, what does charge by blood mean? I mean, the more kills we get, the more charges? No. No, because we're killing lots of things. It's still not getting any extra charges. Plenty of money, though. Probably gonna see greed. If I had to uh, warrant a guess, I would guess greed. But at the same time, greed wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I have to make sure not to get stomped on. The increased uh, shot speed will make these guys a little easier. Um, make Mask of Infamy even easier as well. And we have pills. This does still give us cards, so... Alright. And we'll buy this card as well. So we have a Death card, a Magician card, a Judgment. We'll just pop him down and play him. A Moon card, which is not useful, except for getting out of a sticky situation. Let's not forget that. It could still be useful. Um, passage takes us directly down to the next floor. Really need the item, though, from the boss. Red Heart means nothing to me. Bombs are okay. That, ready, that red health up. Or a spirit heart. That's what I'm looking for. You suck. So let's look at the magician and we'll pop the death card probably. Let's actually pick up those bombs. But we'll pop the death card immediately. Like in this room, we'll just go boom, finish him off. And still nothing. And this is the Depths 1 fight, so the Fallen. Pop our Magician card. We actually have plenty of bombs, so let's put them to better use. Pop this! Alright, well that wasn't too bad, all things considered, and... Okay, um... There we go! <laughs> Uh, we did manage to come out with some extra health. Sadly, no deal with the devil. We'll pop both of our cards. So, we'll take the passage and the moon. Come on, come on! Ah, alright, we'll blow you up then. Nope, you didn't give me... Uh, give me dirty, nasty spiders. Item room is the only one that mattered. Or, sorry, uh, shop is the only thing that mattered. I don't know why I keep getting those two mixed up. Do not want the Book of Sin. We want our lovely, lovely Tammy's head. Because it's a magical item. I also want to be able to find, uh... What's that other item called? Triple A battery. Or is it just called Triple A? Triple A is also a form of insurance things. So what we can do is we can pop this open, take what we want from it, and get out. Which is the benefit of it. Luckily, we managed to kill him without any problems, and was not too far off from where we needed to go. I don't really want to go down, so hopefully it's not that way. But uh, Tammy's head's nothing to sneeze at. We got Brimstone. I, I haven't gotten it yet, but uh, Brimstone Tammy's head packs quite a punch. A potent punch. 
if you might say. Potent. Practical pun. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just saying words now. Anyway, killing, killing, skilla, uh, floaty head dude things. Conic that's its direct name is Skella Floaty Head Conical Dudes. Don't judge me on names. Will this actually reach? Technically it will. That does ain't good, but answer the question, will it reach? That did not do the damage I was hoping it would. Oh, there's also three of them, so maybe it actually did a pretty solid amount of damage to that one. And we are charging it, so it's not a problem either. One down. Two to go. Probably get one or two more charges off of Tammy's head. Which is nothing to sneeze at. It does a good amount of damage if you can actually get all of them to hit. So if I get homing shots, actually, that'd be pretty solid as well. But we'll, we'll think of that later. And, I don't know, 15 more hits? 1, 2, 3. I'm actually bad at counting. It was not 15. It was definitely not 15. Alright, come on. Come on. And, come on! Ah, oh, bugger. Oh, well, hey, thank you very much, Infamy. Um, I saw what you did for me. You stopped that shot. You bravely stayed close to my face and happened to <gasps> be in the right place at the right time. So. I could never thank you enough, magical face protection. You're just a mask. Just a small town mask. So destruction, if we can find a tinted rock, which we actually have plenty of bombs, so we don't really need to worry about that. If we find mushrooms, though, if we find mushrooms, we'll pop this sucker. Or I suppose on the um, uh, mom boss fight, just to alleviate the pressure of rocks potentially getting in our way, would not be a bad idea. What do we have here? Moon card. I don't want the passage, so we'll, we'll keep the moon card. We've already been to the secret room, I believe. So, it's not like it's really useful, but maybe we find a, uh, something that could actually help us. I'm trying to think of how I would use this moon card effectively. It's basically... Have we been to the secret room? I honestly don't know now. There we go, one down. Stupid hands. I gotta figure out what those are called in um Zelda. I like the broken watch. I will not take your broken watch. I want your broken watch. We have been here. Go ahead. Let's go all the way back. I think we're gonna have to go... You know, we still haven't had to go down that route, so... I'm not gonna. And I'm gonna regret it. Because it's where we needed to go. At the same time, I'm stubborn and don't want to go there. Not happy about taking that damage. Um, but, it happens. You pick yourself up out of the bleeding creep that is disgusting and horrific. Give me a guppy item, please. Hey, you know what? I'm not gonna complain about double nega hearts. Necro hearts. Not called nega hearts. Nega hearts sounds kinda dumb. Is it bad that I actually don't think it sounds kinda dumb and I like it? Yes, it is. Well, F you too! How'd that poop over there get destroyed? Hold on. Where are we going? Is this the direction we needed to go? No! This is the direction we need to go. Having two charges on this is very solid. As long as you don't use it like that. But now there's no real point in keeping the second charge when it's going to just continually charge. So the mother fight, mother dearest. 
Mother May I. Mother Mavis Bacon. Now we hold off because we're going to defeat the room. And have double <clears throat> Tammy's head to use on Mother. We'll destroy everything else in the room. There we go. I'll rely on that to get out of sticky situations. Plant bombs down all, the, all around. And we'll try and pop the, as frequently as possible. <clears throat> to make sure that we are keeping things in line. And keeping our bombs going strong. That did some good damage to mom. I'll keep enemies off of us a little bit better, as opposed to doing damage to mom. And maybe I'm getting a little too crazy about bombs. Alright. I'm getting a little too... Yeah, we got it. Okay, well, that is the negative, I believe. The negative. Fate has chosen. We're not going to do anything else. Super fan has appeared in the basement. Oh, yeah. This would be super fan. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, a favorite, and a some scribbles. Because this is what you want to do to see more Isaac. And I promise I'll never do that again. Even though I think I promised that before. But I promise as long as I remember, I will never do that again. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.